Here at Maymont, we've been enduring the same droughty conditions that most Virginians have been working with this past season. And like everybody else, we've been doing the very best we can to water with hoses and other means of being able to distribute water to those plants in need. But fortunately, we received that wonderful rain recently and our crispy world has turned green once again. And what you have to understand is that most of our atmosphere has the gas nitrogen in it. And it's through lightning that that gas can actually be picked up by the raindrops as it falls through the air, which is important for plants to green themselves up. The rain also carries with it dust as well as pollen, which are additional nutrients for our plants. And that's why we could drag hoses till the cows came home, but that rain just greens us up beautifully again. However, like you, we've had to pick and choose what we've watered. And unfortunately, these spice bushes here had to endure some pretty hefty dry times. But they're a woody plant, and woody plants have stored carbohydrates in their roots to many times can oversee them through a brief drought, such as what we've experienced this season. But what you can do to make sure your plant is okay is take a look at it and see if the buds are still green. And as you can see here, this spice bush still has green buds. But go to a section of the stem and just do the fingernail scratch test to see if it's green underneath. And if it is, then you know definitely that your plant is okay. Now, while spice bush is a shrub, there's also some dogwoods and other trees that get very, very stress during droughts and the leaf if you look at it actually dies back from the edges toward the center and here's a perfect example of a drought stressed dogwood leaf and just like with the spice bush i'm going to take my fingernail and just try to find a place where i can rub it just to make sure that it's green and still viable so i know next spring i'll have leaves come out and hopefully some flowers as well so I want you to take stock of your landscape. I know we're now coming into a rainy period and we can all celebrate that because fall is here. So complete the scratch test and take a true assessment and you might be surprised that your landscape pulled through far better than you thought.